Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And I thought it would be fun to play with um, some new product from the upcoming mini catalog. This mini catalog will start July the 1st and you should be getting yours in the mail if you had order from me um the last few months or so you should be getting yours in the mail very soon um a few of you i put your catalogs in with your class that went out so it's in in with your um class in the mail so that's where you're going to find that if you don't get it by um the end of the month let me know um hey so i'm so glad you're here so if you are new to my channel make sure you let me know um where you're viewing fun from if you've been here before welcome back my name is diana and i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator and i'm in santan valley arizona a very hot arizona so i know it i don't even know why i complain about it because it's just arizona but still it's, it's miserable so uh, luckily um i work in the house so i don't have to put up with it I don't have to drive to work either because I work out of my home. So basically I walk from the house through the laundry room into my studio. So I don't even have to go outside to um, come to work. So I'm very blessed in that regard. So um, make sure you, um, if you have any questions, make sure you let me know. If you're seeing the live chat, that means, and you see the little red live, that means you're watching live. If you don't see that, then you're watching the replay. And make sure if you have any questions, reach out to me um, underneath um, in the comments section. And let's see what else, what else. If you are new, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And that way, um, YouTube will let you know when I go live so you don't miss out anything. All right, so I think that's all I wanted to blab about before we get started. All right, so let me just cover my phone. So you don't get seasick. All right, let me get that. That looks good. All right, so I have a bunch of stuff on my desk here. All right, so we are going to be using a few things from the mini catalog, like I said. And the stamp set, I'm actually using a bundle. So this is a really cute new little Christmas. I need to move this over a tiny, tiny little bit. This is the Christmas Scotty stamp set. And let me get adjusted. It has a matching punch. So hold, I'm sorry that the light is reflecting. I'll try to um, hold it so that the light doesn't reflect. And then it has a matching punch that goes with it. It is so adorable. So that's what I'm using. And it is a photopolymer. So what I always do, I always cut... Let me get this adjusted because this is always attached. So I always cut it apart and then put it back in the container. And then that way I can see from the back of my stamp if anything is missing. Otherwise, this piece of paper is back here and then I can't, I can't see. And I'm just lazy. I like to just look on the back side and know if anything's gone all right so that's what we're using there are also in the new mini these adorable stars treat bags so i wanted to use one of these too so i'm gonna get it open so they've got these little um stars cut out there we go just want to get that open like that are they not so adorable? So hi, Deborah and Donna and Nancy, Barbara, Susie Q, and Gloria's here. Um, so these are so fun. And I'm actually going to, now you can leave them without putting anything in them. You know, you could just put your cello bag, your candy, whatever. But today, I'm actually going to use some of the new, um, it, this is, um, Festive Foils Specialty. So this is the yellow, and I'm sure it's it's 
it's like crushed curry or something, something, but um, I'm just calling it yellow. And I'm going to stick this inside the front so that you're going to see the yellow coming through my bag. I'm also going to stick a little um, battery operated candle in here. So it's also going to um, let me get that in there. It's also going to reflect through that yellow. There we go. So it's going to be hard to tell because the lights on the room. But um, but anyway, so that's that's in there. You can you can see it twinkling away inside. OK, so, and I'm also using the stylus shapes. I told you I was going to use these a lot and I've already used these a lot this year and they um, cut and, and emboss and have the little um, stitchings on them. So I'm going to use those as well. This is a photopolymer stamp set. So I'm going to use my little grid thing or my little foam pad. Oh, I'm glad it's cool in Washington. Ugh. We even bought a uh, like a little swamp cooler just to sit out on the back porch. But we basically sit like this close to it. <laughs> Because it, it just barely keeps you cool. I mean, it feels cool if you're right in front of it. But I told Jeff, I go, gosh, we almost needed our own. So the other day he was out there sitting and watching his YouTube on his phone. And I put some ice cubes in it to see if that would help. All right. So this is the real red. So I'm going to use real red ink. And I have my little May Your Days be furry and bright. And I'm going to stamp, I'm going to just stand up because this just fits on there. All right. May your days be furry and bright. So I'll set that aside. So this is a really quick, cute little um, thing you could put um, at somebody's table or, you know, if you're having a little... A little party um maybe you give gifts to your veterinarian or whatever um this would be cute too all right now this paper is the i wrote my notes here lights aglow six by six and i can't put like usually i put the supplies underneath these are not actually live numbers yet because the the um, mini catalog doesn't go live till july the first so I can't really link these products to anything. So um, so I just have my little um, cheat sheet off to the side. All right. So I'm going to pick this paper. And look how cute it is. It's got that um, all these little circles on there. So it looks like sparkly lights. Um, so this is some of that paper. And I will, if you want, um, go over some of the DSPs. So see, look how pretty. So on the back side, you've got that gold overlay. Look how pretty. There's some um, it's probably mossy meadow. So this is some pretty, pretty DSP. I love that. And I can't think what that bokeh, I think it's called bokeh with that little, this right here. It's called bokeh. It's just a fun pack of paper. So I wanted my little Scotty dog to have, like, look at the red. Oh, I wanted um, my little Scotty dog to have, um, I didn't want him just to be solid black. So I, I was looking all over and I'm like, oh, this might be cute paper for my Scotty dog. And I loved how it looked. Because it makes him have, like, a whole bunch of colors going on. You can't really necessarily know that it's those circles because it's punched out. But now he's got, like, like texture to him. So he looks super cute. I wanted a red um, gingham bow. And so this is from, this is in the main catalog. And these are the Regal 6x6. Six six. So these are the packs of paper that have um, like the 
the basic color collections, and then you have the pattern paper. So you've got flowers on one side, lines on the other, and then there's that um, plaid, and then you have polka dots. So that's what you have. I kind of wish the plaids and the polka dots weren't on the same piece because those are my favorite out of the pack. But hey, it is what it is. All right, so let me set that aside. All right, so then I wanted to make my cute little bow with a plaid. There we've got our little bow. All right. So I'm just going to put this on with glue dots. And these little, um, I have them kind of all over the house. Hi, Lori. Hi, Nancy. Two Nancys. And Trees is here. Um, so this is um, where the battery, the little tea light candles that I have. And I just got them on Amazon. And they, um, they go for like six hours. They have like a timer on them. So since I turned that one on now at like three o'clock or so, it'll run for six hours and then turn off. And then tomorrow at three, it'll come on again. Um, so I just kind of have them all over, all over the house. I have some outside on the back patio too. And it's kind of cute to look out at night and see the little um, candles flickering. All right. So I'm just going to put the cute little bow on my dog. And... I thought he needed an eyeball, right? Don't you think he needs an eyeball? So I'm going to use, now these are the classic matte dots. And I'm going to get a Sharpie out. So this eye is too big. So I picked the smaller of the white. So I picked the smaller of the white one. And I didn't want his eye to just be white. I wanted to, to give it a little bit more of a life than just a white dot. So then I took my Sharpie. And I'm just going to put a little black pupil on my eye. And now his eye has got a little bit more character to him, don't you think? Yes, the Scotty dog is graying. But it gives him a, like kind of like a fur look, right? Then if I just did him just totally black. All right. So let's bring our little bag over. I also am going to use the new Festive Pearls. And since this DSP in here... I'm also going to take a little green tip glue. Hold on a second. I put a little bit of green tip glue in this bottle. I've talked about it over and over. You get those on Amazon too. I'm going to put just a little bit just inside the top of my bag. Come on, get out of there. Not a whole lot. I just want it to grab that paper. Just a little bit. All right. Okay. Then, so this paper has gold circles. So this, these are some new bling from the mini. You've got red, green. It's a very, very soft green. And then silver and gold. They are gorgeous. And I want the gold ones because we have gold circles peeking through our bag from the DSP. So I'm just going to put five little circles on here. So it will look even more cute. All right. One, one, two, three, four. All right. I want to put my dog on and then I'll put my last gold. All right. So I have my cute little dog. I'm going to take some mini glue dots. Or, I mean, um, mini dimensionals. And we're going to put our cute little dog on the front of the box. The punches are so fun. And look, at he's even adorable on the backside with that gold across him. He is so cute. Oh, my gosh. I kept, I think I kept the other. I, I kept 
some punches I keep and I just keep them on. I'm like, oh, look, I took that off. Now he's stuck on my table. Like this is an old one. Look how old this one is. And I just write an R. It's nice and dusty. But I have, um, do I have the cat? Yeah, I have the cat. I thought I did. I don't know. I'm like looking. Uh, the cat and dog that retired. But this Scotty dog is adorable. All right. So I'm just going to put my bag like this so that when I put my Scotty dog on, his tail is going to stick out of the bag a little bit. But also I want him flush with the table. All right, so now our little dog's on the bottom of the box or the bag. All right, so now I can put my greeting. So may your days be furry and bright. But this would be cute. You could put, um, you know, you could put dog bones in and give it to somebody's dog. And then the candle would be for them. So you would just put some little dog treats in there all right so i'm gonna go may your day be furry and bright so i'm gonna have it kind of go at an angle and i'm just reaching in the bag so i can push push it on there all right so i need one more gold bling right there and while i'm at it hold on a second i'm gonna take one of the black classic matte dots. And we're going to give the doggy a nose. How cute will that be? All right. So I'm going to take one of the little black matte dots. And I'm going to put it on the tip of his nose like that. And oh my gosh. Doesn't that look cute? Now that I gave him a little nose. It makes him look even more real. So see his little eye? So he's so cute. I love that. And so I like the little bit of the bling. So we've got our, a little candle in there. And then I was playing around. So this is the one I did before. I'll show you. But then I was playing around with some um, stuff that we don't have anymore. But you might have it in your stash. All right. So hold on a second. Get this off the table. All right, so this is the one I did before, and I did a black eye, and I put some white gel pen, and I thought, you know what? I think I want to try it with the white eye, and I think I like the white eye better with the Sharpie, so I probably will end up pulling that off of there and replacing it with a white eye, and I also need to put a nose on this guy, but look how fun these are. Remember when we had... Um, remember when we had these a few, a year ago or so, these are, um, from the pets. So there was hearts and bones. Is that all that was in there? I think just hearts and bones. And I bought a bunch. They were on clearance for a while. And I just was like, oh, they're so cute. So look what I did with this Scotty dog. I was messing around. So I haven't put him on anything yet. So look how cute he is. So all I did was I just tied a piece of the um, red and white Baker's twine. And I strung on one of those little hearts. So I still need to add an eye and a nose. and But I just tied a knot back there. And it just looks so cute because now he's got a little, a little tag on there. Oh, yes, I definitely like the little, because it just makes him so much cuter with the nose, I think. That just came to me. All right, so that looks cute. Um, also, what's in the new mini is, um, it is, let's see, pearlized. Here we go. It's like a three-pack. So these are new, too. So these are the pearlized enamel effects. There's black, white, and real red. And these are fun, too. So I was playing around with those yesterday, and I had a laugh, right? So I was like, I wanted to know how long it would take to dry. So I just wiggled it and put a dot. Wiggled it, wiggled. And then I put it, I went 3.05 p.m. Well, then I went around doing stuff, and I didn't come and check back till 
And of course it was dry by then. It doesn't take that long to dry. So then I thought, oh, okay. So I did 331 and then I did the same thing. So I'm not for sure how long it takes for that to dry. <laughs> but I'm so excited to play with these. And, and they might have been fun um, to decorate on the dog too. But I'm definitely going to put put an eyeball and a nose on this little guy and stick him on a card or something. Because he is screaming that he needs a nose and he needs an eyeball. So you can see I was like trying to figure out where, where to put my dot. Like I was like, oh, I don't want him to look cross-eyed. So I'll just grab this one. So we'll stick that on there. Like that. So isn't he cute? Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. So anyways, all right, so let me turn the phone so I can say see you later, alligator. Too close, too close. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that was a nice quick, quick dyes shorts for a change. Um, so yeah, our, our critters always need a nose. I remember I kept sticking a nose on, remember we had that kangaroo, the kangaroo stamp set? So um, just use your embellishments because he, he looks really cute, I think, that little guy with the little heart hanging on them. And, and if you don't have any of those embellishments, like with the heart and the bones, don't worry about it. You could make your own embellishment. Um, I think even if I put um, like any of the embellishments, you know, like don't put that bow and then just put one of those blings like on his collar would be cute. So the stamp set has some really cute, um, really cute pieces to it. So it's super fun. And I'm like trying to go like, can, is that? Oh no, cause he's different. Cause I thought, is that just this guy upside right? But no, he's a different, he's different that dog. But anyways, but yeah, so definitely um, you'll wanna put that on your wish list. Cause that's July the 1st when the catalog goes live for everybody. If you don't wanna wait and you wanna order now, Make sure you reach out to me and then you can put um, these items in, in your starter kit and um, and get them right away. So that's always an option. Okay. Um, oh, I know. I do have some googly eyes somewhere. Remember we had the googly eyes? But um, so that would look cute too. All right. So thanks, Gloria. Hey, Joy. Or hey, Joe. Um I know. I, I almost didn't get this set because, you know, we don't have Toby anymore. And he's been gone over a year now. And it's so hard. I still miss him. Um, so I almost didn't get the Scotty set. But even though Toby wasn't a Scotty, he was a little Yorkie. But he still kind of was like that. But anyways, um, so, yeah, it, it is so sad. Joe. Um, hey, Candy and Lance is here too. Um, all right, so yeah, so I'm gonna stop labbing, and hopefully, you um, will, will um, think outside of the box when you have your punches and your embellishments and put things together, um, add a sharpie and make an eyeball. So, um, I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist, and I always force myself to do a twist now, right? Since I don't know what I'm doing yet. Because I just said it, but um, oh, Angus books. I don't know Angus, so he must have been a Scotty dog. So I didn't know, didn't know, don't know that book. All right, so I'm gonna stop blabbing and uh, let you go. Thank you so much for joining me this week. If you have any questions at all, um, what you, what I show today or other videos, please do not hesitate to ask. And otherwise, have a great weekend. Have an awesome Father's Day. And I will see you Monday, um, 3 o'clock, Arizona time, same time, same channel, for my mimeograph Monday with a twist. All right. Have a great night, everyone. And I will uh, talk to you Monday. All right. Bye.